welcome to my youtube channel once more um today we are going to be talking about how to give a function to a button how to assign a specific function to our button uh, like our previous video we talked about how to customize button in your sketch web project so uh but this time around we are going to give a function to those customized button so but if today is the first time of visiting this channel just do what to watch our previous video because the way we post in this our channel is we post based on uh previous video and like where we stopped at the last time so you need to watch some of my previous videos so that you get along with what we are doing here so right now if you are if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel just do well to subscribe uh, just try to subscribe you, 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 you are not paying me for this video I'm, and I'm just trying to help you to have this knowledge of how to make use of sketchway you get in it you you are not paying me and you can just watch my video just like that I don't know you and you don't know me so we are just friends and we are here to achieve this knowledge so why can't you just hit on that subscribe button and give me a like on this video so that next time we publish a new video you are going to be the first person to get it because it's going to be sent to you directly and you will see it and watch it all right we need to start here is our, our sketchware i'm making use of sketchware pro so if you don't have this sketchware pro just go straight to my to this video description and you get it there once this video hits let's say 200 views uh, i'm going to drop it there so you need to be checking constantly all right um what i'm going to do now i'm going to create new app by create by clicking on this plus button click on it and add your uh, the app name and let's say tutorial app tutorial. and select the uh, add your icon so some of this is what we've done before so if you really need to know more about it just go straight to some of our videos and uh, you get it directly from there so this is my i'm going to select from pixel lab because uh, i make use of pixel lab to run some of my icon so if you really need to know more about this pixel lab you can check some of my videos uh, here you get it there so i'm going to use one of these icon here Okay, now you need to create app. Click on this create app to load. It will load. Okay, this is it. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to select this linear view, linear view, linear view, linear view. Uh, drag it and drop it here. What I'm going to do now, you click on the wide and and match parents, match parents. Okay. Uh, you go straight to straight to gravity uh, layout gravity click on center horizontal center vertical and, and also here center horizontal and center vertical so that once you drop the button it will go straight to the center so what we're going to do now we need to select button we need to select button and this is it drag and drop this button as you can see it's already at the center we also need to add let's say image view image view but that is just by the way let's customize this button these are some of the video the stuff that we did before as you can see when you want, really want to change the background resource it's going to show you now because you haven't loaded the image that you are about to make use of so this time around I'm going to rush it because this is what we've done before if you really need to know it more you watch some of the videos our previous video okay So I think we go to background resource. So that is this is it. We check the the wide. So do I? Alright. 
Okay, this is it. We well, we need to change the text. Is it? We need to change the text. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. Let's say get started. Get started. We'll check the text size to sixteen, and also the text type to bold. That is it. So this time around we are done, we are almost done. So what are we going to do now? We need to give it a function like, once you click on this get started button, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Now, what are we going to do now is, we are going to assign the function so that once you click on get started, it will take you to the home page, like where the main home page. So how are you going to create this home page? Because you, you, you can't just give it a function like that without creating the the home page so how are we going to create the home page how are we going to create the home page sorry i need to move this okay it's blocking something okay uh, to create the the home page you select here you click here that particular place now is where you're going to add another page but in schedule we call it activity activity so you click on it you click on it and now add new page by clicking at this plus button you click on the plus button and now give it a name give it a name that is home home, home. now add you add you add you go back now how are we going to add features in that home page so I'm going to edit that. You repeat that particular place that you clicked at the first time. You now click this home, select this home. It will take you to that home page. So this is your home page interface. Here is where you're going to add many features and design it the way you really want it to look like. But without wasting much of our time, we're going to add just few widgets. Okay, but okay, let's do, make use of text view. You add text view here. You go straight to edit the text where you can edit the text here is abc where we can add so you know I'm, I'm going to paste a content an article okay that is it you save you save that is it you save you save so you go back to to the main page now we are now about to give it a function now and click on the button this will appear at the downside now you locate locate something here you check you can check something like here there's something here event this event click on that event once you click on the event what is going to happen sorry you will see something here you see this on click that is what we're going to select click on it and this place will appear here is the place where you're going to configure that particular button here is where you're going to do the whole thing but how are we going to to uh, drag and drop those blocks that we are supposed to use the main thing that we need to do is to go straight to our component and add intent. That's what is called intent. Let's go straight to that place and add it. You go back. You go back. Yeah. This is our component. And that is where we're going to click. You click on it. Once you click on it, you will see this plus button here. That is where we're going to click. Click on it. Now this is our intent and that is what we are looking for. You click on the intent and give it a name. You give it intent and add. Now you've added your intent. Then go back. You go back. Go back. Now you now click on the get started button again. You click on on click. 
Now, what else are we going to do here now? Sorry. Sorry. This is blocking some of our. This is where you're going to click. Now, you click on it, this will appear. Now, you need to locate components. You need to locate components. Click on components. Click on components. Now, in this uh, component is where we're going to be selecting some of the blocks that is required for that particular button to perform a function. So, what are we going to do? You locate your intent set screen. Intent set screen. This is it. This is intent set screen. That is the button. No, sorry, the block that we are going to use. You you drag and drop it here because that's what we're going to be using. So you scroll down and look for start activity. Start activities. This is it. Now you also drag and drop it. Now you need to lap this block here and also lap this with this. So what I'm going to do now, you select, there is something I want to show you here. You see this point, this point, and this point. That is the three main thing that is needed. Now, you select the first intent and check this intent and select it. Then the second one is start activity intent. Click on that intent, you see another intent, you click on it and also select it. Now, at this point, this is where the whole work relied. So what are we going to do? You're going to click on that class and give it the page, that home page. So that once you click on that button, it will take you to the home page. So you click on the class, you select home page. We are done. We are done. Go back. We are done. So we are done. So this time around, you need to run your app. You run your app. You run your app. We need to wait. The app is running. The app is running. Well, the app is building. It's compiling. So as you wait, you try to subscribe to this channel. Try to subscribe to this channel because I publish good stuff. So we need to install the app. Install the app. You click on this installation button. App is installing now. It has installed. Now you need to open it. Let's check whether what we did is right or wrong. Now click on this get started button. Boom. It will take you to the home page. Now this was the text that we pasted at the first time in our schedule so but as you can see this text is now complete some of our text here is missing because it can't scroll it can't scroll up it can't scroll up so but in, in our next video we are going to talk about how to give this text a scroll bar so that you can scroll up and some of these are text that is hidden will also show so that is how we're going to do it in our next video we're going to talk about how to to use a scroll bar in sketchware so thank you for watching this video do wait to subscribe to this youtube channel because we are taking it level by level step by step stages by stages on how to create app so we, you will also learn how to make use of uh upgrade to 24 to build an earning admo app so thank you for watching